Retirement. It's a word that can certainly elicit a roller coaster of emotions. A lot of important decisions to make. When to retire or where to live, how to fill your time, changing health care, changing income. Uh, do you have enough to enough money to retire? And the list goes on. So uh, what if there's a recession when you retire? You know, how do you how do you keep all these decisions straight in your mind so you don't don't feel stressed? So I'm Oliver Kolofsky, Director of Wealth Services and Wealth Advisor at Sweet Financial Partners located in Fairmont and Jackson, Minnesota. We, we specialize in working with high net worth people who are at or nearing retirement. We believe that everyone has the right to realize that their dreams are possible and use that as the focus when working with you and helping you plan for your future. So lots going on as it relates to um, an upcoming retirement, but good news uh, for you though, the dream architect planning process addresses these items for you. So it's on a virtual meeting, like a Zoom meeting with a couple not too long ago. And the husband hadn't retired yet. And his spouse had retired. At the time of the meeting, he once again said he wasn't going to retire yet, which was odd because he had always wanted to retire at age 65. And now he was 67. So as the conversation progressed, the reason he hadn't retired wasn't because he necessarily loved what he was doing, but rather it seemed to be a fear or apprehension of change or maybe the unknown. So the good news is that with some tools, one of which I'll share with you here momentarily, he eventually retired from his career and most importantly, retired to what he wanted most, which was more time with his family. So the question is, what is issues should I consider before I retire? And I'd mentioned a tool, if you will, to, to help uh, address this. So let's look at a checklist here you know, of the issues you should consider before you retire. And a lot of these are more financial planning related, which is, is really good, is really important. The tool I'm in, at least in this video, not going to share. We've got some tools here as part of the dream architect planning process that are more, I should say, they're not financial planning related. They're more, what are you retiring to? We know what you'd be retiring from, but what are you retiring to? And how will you still have that purpose and the value uh, in your life? So these, this checklist here, this is going to be financial planning related. So we would first look at cash flow. Again, being able to retire, you want to maintain your lifestyle. So we'd first address cash flow. Any cash flow uh, uh, changes, we'd look at all of your income sources. Is there a pension? Would you know, there likely be social security? How would you want to receive that pension? You know, what happens if something happens to you? Does the pension continue on to your spouse? That is what we'd be looking at in terms of cash flow. Also, the Social Security Optimizer. There's a lot of different ways to take Social Security. We would run a Social Security Optimizer for you so you could make an educated and informed decision in terms of when you would begin Social Security. So ultimately, cash flow is part of the Dream Architect planning process. This here gets really in, in, in depth or nuanced as it relates to cash flow. And this is something we could go through with you. Next, moving to the right, health care and insurance issues. So again, will you be retiring prior to age 65? Why 65 is a key issue. 65 is, is typically the age when you'd be eligible for Medicare. If you're retiring pre-age 65, there are tax strategies, or, or maybe you know, not necessarily tax strategies, but strategies that could be used to have your income be at a certain, your taxable income be at a certain level where you could get lower cost health insurance. And that would be the second bullet point over on the health and insurance issues. But there's a key one as we scroll down the health savings account. That's the HSA acronym. Uh, health savings account. Uh, once you turn 65, you go on Medicare, you're not able to contribute to that anymore. Uh, but that good news is not a use it or lose it. So we'd want to go through a strategy of how best to handle the HSA or health savings account in retirement. We did a recent video on the, on the next one here, which is 
Irma surcharge. So I won't go into detail here. Uh, maybe I'll put a link here in the video to, to that one when we talked about Irma surcharge because I spent uh, like, like 10 minutes just talking about that one. And lastly, you're going to see on the health and insurance uh, needs, healthcare and insurance needs. Uh, do you have long term care insurance? Uh, if not, what would be the, an alternative plan? Because there are alternative ways to look at something like long-term care. The next one, I'm not going to spend too much time on the asset and, and debt issues. Um, that's a, a, an important part of the re, uh, dream architect planning process. We would look at all of the you know, assets that could be used to provide income, analyze any debt that you would have, and the best way to handle that. Uh, the next item, tax planning issues. Again, this one spend a lot of time here. We don't do taxes, but we definitely consult on taxes and help be, help, help, with, help clients with tax uh, in terms of from which account to take income and when. It's kind of like the weather. We can't control the weather. But an analogy I often use is if it's going to be sunny, I can have my sunglasses handy. I can be prepared if I know it's going to snow. I can have a snow, my snow blower ready. Kind of like the markets. I, I can't control the financial markets. They're going to go up and down, do what they do. But I absolutely can control from which account income is taken and when. Yeah, but that's that's the, kind of the essence of tax planning. Same with charitable giving. And that's going to be uh, uh, in, in the next column, but uh, uh, charitable, in, uh, charitable giving is definitely intertwined with tax planning. Long-term planning issues. Uh, we look at a state uh, at the federal level. Uh, the state would be a little more nuanced than the federal level. We want to look at you know, charitable strategies, which I just mentioned, very important there. Uh, and then beneficiary designations. We want the beneficiary designations to be accurate. So that is certainly part of the, uh, the process there. So it's a great checklist to really provide you clarity of as I'm retiring, what, uh, what, what should, should I consider, consider? And that's a, a fairly exhaustive issue as it relates to the financial, the nuts and bolts of financial planning. If we look at what am I retiring to for purpose, for legacy, that's a different set of tools and conversations we absolutely have for you uh, as well. So to learn more about planning opportunities that are most helpful, helpful for those at or near retirement, click here to watch a presentation I did last summer called Financial Planning Opportunities for Those Ages 55 to 65.